to organization or when you we listen to many leaders, uh, the notion that people are at the center of the organization is something that you see every leader is agreeing to. Yeah. And yet, um, last week uh, I was uh, at the PMI celebrating 50 years anniversary yeah. and there was one number that was provided that says about 85% of employees are disengaged yeah. at work. Meaning that they go to work but they're not there yeah. for many different reasons. What do you think need to happen really? so that employees are kept engaged yeah. and then people are really at the center of organizations as uh, people yeah. preach. People, people like, I think, um, you know, de decision making needs to go back to the front lines. So, so um, you know, the, the, the role of leaders in the future, in my opinion, isn't to call shots at all. It is to facilitate and coach people underneath them to be able to call the shots, right? So decision making should be done at where there is most information, which is often, you know, at the, on the customer service line, on the marketeer that's writing the ad, you know, at the salesperson level who's talking to, to their prospective client. And, and, and how to get people engaged again is, is by giving them the, um, uh, the, the, the responsibility and the ability to, to innovate, be creative, try things out, you know, take ownership of their work, um, feel like they can actually make an impact. So, so just, just give people back the, the ability and, 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 and really give them the trust um, and freedom to, to do as they see best, right? Because ultimately they do have the most information, right? So it's absurd to assume that, you know, someone who would be five levels up would be able to make a better decision, right? So that's, that's how I sort of think about this. You're kind of in that newer generation that's in the process of disrupting the workforce and disrupting organizations today and you're going to be playing a really pivotal role as a leader in that. So how would you work with people who are kind of mid-career professionals and make them feel comfortable shifting from this idea of being a producer to being an innovator and being comfortable with failure and change? I think, I think the capacity of any single individual to change things is way beyond what people normally think. So, so I truly, truly, truly believe that even someone, say be it, you know, middle management at a Fortune 500 company, you know, he or she can make his or her team, you know, a really sort of beautiful example of driving this cultural change within that organization. So I think, um, I, I, I'm personally very much an optimist of, 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 of individuals, middle management's ability to, to actually transition and, and lead by example, right? Because that's something that we see a lot when having worked with companies, maybe even bigger companies, when teams start doing things differently and they start celebrating failure, taking risks, and then reaping the rewards, People get interested in that. You know, people love success stories, even within an organization. And when you, like the, 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 the one thing that I maybe want to underscore is that, you know, experimentation and trying and testing a lot of things out, it's actually all you're just doing is being proactive, right? So now the majority of knowledge workers, 99% of the time they're being reactive. They're being bombarded with, work and, and, and the ability just to step back and be like, okay, you know, which 30% of my work can I ax, which actually doesn't create any value, and, 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 and then start using that time for being proactive, start testing, experimenting, like that can bring immense results, you know, even in the metrics that they're measured on, right? So we've seen marketing teams, sales teams that'll start spending one day a week on experimentation trying things out and getting phenomenal results via that. So, so that's something that I maybe want to underscore, um, you know, the, the, the fact that, that being experiment driven, hypothesis driven, trying things out is, is actually just a system and a methodology to, 
to get to your results maybe better, quicker, faster, more efficiently. So um, I don't think, I think it's just that. And then usually what, what people, employees, team leaders really love about this new way of working is that they get a lot of freedom and a lot of responsibility to try things out. Um, and they either take that themselves or then they're sort of agreed on, on a team level, but that's something that people tend to really enjoy.